everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Holly from hollygrace.ca. Super excited to see you back here. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I hope that you will stick around and uh, catch this whole video. So today I'm out here in my craft room, bunky, studio, uh, whatever I'm calling it these days. And um, I don't have any heat out here and it's a little chilly. We've hit some fall cold weather here in Canada, so I'm all bundled up. But due to this cold weather, I thought what better day than to start making Christmas ornaments. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a laser engraved photo Christmas ornament on some wood. It's a super easy beginner basic tutorial. So if you have a laser, I hope this helps you. If you don't have a laser, I hope you'll give it a watch and maybe this will encourage you to get one because they're really fun. So before we jump into the project, I do want to remind you to hit that subscribe button and the little bell if you want to be notified of any future videos. Let's get started. Three, two, one. Here we go. Alright everybody, so here I am. This is my picture of my dog Zoe here and what I've done is I've just put it into PicMonkey and I've just removed the background. Um, this is the original image over here and you can see there was a grass background. I don't want to engrave all that so I just got rid of it. And then we're going to download this image. <clears throat> All right, now we're going to go over here to Lightburn and we're going to import our image. So to do that, you can click this little button here up in the top left or you can go up here to File and you can click Import. Go wherever you store your images, click on the image, hit open and put it into your project. I'm going to size this down here just a little bit so we can see here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get this image ready to do the engraving. So we're going to right click on it here and we're going to go here to adjust image. Now when we're in adjust image, the best two ways to image modes to be in is either the Stucky or the Jarvis. Either one of these two are good. You can use either one of these. Um, so let's just go with Stucky. It's the first one that I upload. But the one thing we want to do is we just want to change our dots per image. Now it's uploading here at 254, which is pretty good. I'm just going to bring it up to about 288.6. Just to give us a little bit more dots per image and give us that real nice detail. All right, and then after we've changed our dots per inch, what we want to do is we want to enhance our radius here. So you can see right now it's set at zero. We're going to bring that up to 25. Okay, and then we're going to change the amount to 100. And what this is going to do is it's going to sharpen our image here. Sorry, not 1,000, 100. Bring that back down. We want to sharpen our image here. And what it's doing is it's just sharpening the dots per inch, giving us that nice detail. Then we want to come over here and up our brightness. Now this, I've removed the background, but say you get an image and you get some dots around the outside for whatever reason, um, turning up the brightness will help remove some of those dots um, because it just wastes time on your laser engraving all those dots. But for this particular image, I'm going to leave it set to zero um, because I've removed the background. But it's just something to note if you ever have a background, what you can do is turn that brightness up and it will remove uh, most of the background for you. So it's re going to remove those excess dots and cut down on the amount of time it takes to engrave. All right, so now that's it for our image. We're going to go OK here. And what we're going to do here is we're actually going to, um, we want to cut, I want to cut this out into a circle. We want to make an ornament here. So I'm going to size my image down first. Let's bring it down here to a normal size for an ornament. Let's bring it down to about, about six inches. I think that'll make us a really nice ornament here, I think. A little bit bigger there. There we go. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to make a circle. So I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to make a circle. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make my circle here. I actually am going to shrink my image down a bit because I want, I want the, um, I want to make a bone that's going to sit up here. So we're going to leave a little bit more space at the top. So let's see, my circle here is, 
almost six inches. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. I want to turn my um, circle into a line first because we want to cut that. So I'm going to bring this down here. Actually, let's just, I'm going to use one of my presets. Sorry here, we're going to use one of my presets for cutting. There you go. So the, I have this green preset down here at the bottom. You can see number three, it's set up for cutting. All right, so now that we have that set, let's go ahead here and we want to adjust our image up here. We want to bring this up to 200, speed 200. All right, and we want to set our max power to 30. Okay. All right, now before we do that, let's go ahead and add our little bone here so we don't have to cut things twice. So I'm just going to go over to Google here and I'm going to select bone outline and see what we get here. Okay. All right, this one looks a little bit better. Let's copy that image. We're going to go back to Lightburn here and we're going to paste it in. So for this one, we're going to trace this image. And we're just going to remove the background there, get rid of that. So now what I have here is I have two different lines. But to make this a little fancy here, we want to cut the outside line. So let's ungroup these two lines here, okay? So now I've just right clicked and I ungrouped it. So now you'll see we have this line here. So we can make this more like a score line. So we're going to go ahead here and make this a score line. All right. So for to make a score, we want to do it as a line, not a fill, but we need it to be fast and light. So we're going to set our speed down to, um, actually, let's change this color first so we don't mess our first one up. Let's make it this blue here. That's going to make it separate. Okay. So... We have its speed set here to 100, which is good. We have 20 max power, but for the last, the, for the min power, we want to set that to 10, okay? So that's going to give us a nice score. We're going to keep the outside line to a cut, which is 10, 10 speed, sorry, and 100 power. But now what we want to do is we want to put her name in there. So I'm just going to do a text box here. And I'm going to do her name, but let's pick a nice cute font for her. Something with a little more zip. This one's cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab that. And we're going to bring that in here. And let's make it a little bit shorter here. But this one we want to set to an engrave, though. We don't want that one to be a score. So let's set that to an engrave. Okay. So for my engrave, I have um, 460. Now we're going to select all this, and we want to make sure it's going to fit nicely on our ornament. So let's size it down just a titch. Okay. I think that'll sit nicely there. I'm going to glue it just on the top, maybe a little bit smaller. Let's bring her head down here so her ear doesn't get cut off. I think about there looks good. Okay. Now, we do want to move this away here. We don't want that to be on the bone. All right, so now let's go ahead and preview this and see how it looks. So if we play here, don't get too um, exasperated when you see the uh, preview. Don't go by this. It looks very dark, but you're going to see once the laser does it um, how great it looks. I don't really put too much stock into this preview part. So then it's going to cut out there and then do our bone. All right, so let's take this over to the laser and let's uh, watch it cut. All right, guys, so we're going to um, set our origin first, and then we're going to click frame just to make sure that we've got enough room there. Now, you'll notice these little pieces. This is an invention of my own kind. They were off an off-cut project. I was making these ornaments. They're just little pieces of wood, um, but I stick them down in here because this wood is a little bowed, like it bounces up, and I want it to be nice and flat, so that's kind of just my own little hack there. 
but let's uh, shut the lid and let's get this going. is a lot smaller this is actually pretty big for an ornament <laughs> but you know what i think it's super super cute and we're going to take it over to my workspace we're going to add a little ribbon and uh, this baby's done Okay, so before I glue this together here, I'm just going to go over the engraving parts with a little bit of 100 grit sandpaper just to remove the laser burn and then just brush off the sawdust with a clean paintbrush. Then super easy, I'm just going to take a folded piece of ribbon here, use some super glue from Gorilla Glue, attach it in place and then put some super glue as well on the back of the bone portion and then glue that down over the ribbon and just sandwich the ribbon in there between the ornament and the dog bone super easy to do hold it clamp it for about 10 minutes and the ornament is complete so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this project i hope that this helps you if you have a laser and if you've been struggling with photo engraving on wood super easy to do just get the right settings and you're off to the races thank you so much for tuning into this video i hope you'll stick around for more great content hit that subscribe button and the bell if you want to be notified of future videos thanks so much everyone and have a great day